This video slash stream is sponsored by TradersCentral.com. Traders Central provide funding for traders, spot cryptocurrency exchange services, and access to trading tools like copy trade softwares, portfolio tracking, and a social platform exclusively for communicating with your traders' friends. Sign up using the link in the descriptions and get up to 30% off on your first plan. Hello, traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. We'll do the analysis from 4 hours time frame to 5 minutes time frame. And we'll be sharing you the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance levels. Let us look at the economical events calendar. Today is Wednesday, July 13th. We have high impact news planned at 7.30 am for New Zealand dollar. Then at 11.30 am we have medium impact news planned for British pound related currency pairs. Then at 2.30 pm we have tentative medium impact news planned for euro related currency pairs. And from 6 pm the real momentum starts we have high impact news planned for US dollar related currency pairs. Then at 7.30 pm we have high impacting news planned for Canadian dollar related currency pairs followed by which 8.30 pm we have again high impacting news planned for Canadian dollar related currency pairs. So while planning for today's trades request you to consider these events also into your plans. Let us begin our gold analysis. I am in 4 hours time frame now when we look at the price action from the 4 hours time frame. We already know from the daily time frame also the current price action is in a very strong bearish trend. From the level of 2070 it is continuously in a very strong bearish trend and currently it has broken the midline of the bearish channel pattern also which was acting as a support levels in the past and currently the price action is trading below this mid resistance line. So when we analyze how low the price action is going to travel on a bearish trend, we know that from the past price action that this trend line or the support line has acted as a support line for the past price action. So if the bearish trend continues, we can expect the price action to take support on this trend line then to bounce back on the bullish trend reversal. But currently when we look at the price action, there is also a little bit of consolidation happening over here. Previously we have noticed a price action to fall very strongly on a bearish trend forming a big candles. Currently we are noticing the price action to get choppy or sort of a consolidation over here. The reason for this consolidations are, we have to look at the left hand side of the price action. This level of 1753 has acted as a very strong support in the past and currently where the price action is trading this level of 1722 had acted as a very strong support in the past also. So currently the price action is trading in a very strong support zone. That's why the price action is taking longer or consolidating to gather enough momentum to break a long time support or a support from daily time frame. So if the price action break this support level, next level of support is going to be the previous support level which is going to be 1678. We have noticed the shadows to come here, test this support level then to trend back on the bullish trend reversal and also it is going to take support on the bearish channel pattern support line. And if the price action needs to trend back on the bullish trend reversal, it has to break the long term resistance level of 1753 in order to trend on a bullish side. Again it has to break this resistance line from the daily time frame in order to start its bullish trend reversal. So as long as the price action is trading within this bearish channel pattern we can expect the price action to continue with bearish trend in 4 hours time frame. Let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame now. In hourly time frame also I have drawn a bearish channel pattern. In the past we have noticed a price action trying to break this resistance line which had acted as a support line in the past. 
and it couldn't succeed in breaking this resistance line and also we can notice that it is trading within a bearish channel pattern every time it tests this resistance line we have noticed the price action to continue trading on a bearish side currently the price action is trying to break the higher time frame support level of 1723 and if the price action breaks this support level we can expect the bearish trend to continue in hourly time frame also and if the price action breaks this resistance line from the bearish channel pattern we can expect a little bit of retracement to start and next level of resistance it's going to be the higher time frame resistance level of 1753 it will not be a bullish trend it will only be a retracement on the bullish side so in hourly time frame also we are noticing the price action to trend on a bearish trend wait for it to break the support level of 17 23 in order to take trades on the bearish side and if the price action bounces back from this support level wait for it to break the resistance line of the bearish channel pattern in order to take trades on the bullish side but keep in mind that the overall trend in the higher time frame is in a bearish trend so i would not recommend you to take trades against the higher time frame trends let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for hourly time frame let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame i am in 30 minutes time frame when we notice a price action in 30 minutes time frame i am drawing a resistance line or a trend line so from this resistance line or a trend line we can notice that price action is more moving on a sideways rather than moving on a down trend Every time it tests this support line we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the retracement and currently also we are noticing the price action to test this support line so we can expect the price action to bounce back and take resistance on the previous resistance line only when the price action breaks this resistance line and the hourly time frame resistance line we can expect a bullish side retracement to continue otherwise we can expect the price action to break this higher time frame support level of 1723 and to continue with bearish trend let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values in green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 30 minutes time frame let us do the analysis in 15 minutes time frame i am in 15 minutes time frame here when we look at the price action in 15 minutes time frame previously it went on a bullish trend and it took resistance from the 30 minutes time frame resistance line and currently we have noticing the price action to trend on a bearish trend wait for the price action to break this resistance line from the 15 minutes time frame in order to take trades on the bullish side retracement and if the price action break this support line from the 30 minutes time frame you can go on a bearish side trades currently the price action is consolidating within this resistance and support line wait for a breakout on the bullish side or on the bearish side to take a directional trades let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 15 minutes time frame let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame i am in 5 minutes time frame i have drawn a bearish channel pattern for 5 minutes time frame also after testing this resistance line we have noticed a price action to trend on the bearish side and currently it has taken support on the support line of the bearish channel pattern and we are seeing it to retrace to the bullish side wait for the price action to form a proper breakout from this resistance line in order to take trades on the bullish side otherwise we can expect the price action to bounce back from this resistance line on the bearish trend reversal In any case we are noticing the price action to consolidate within this support line and the resistance line from the 5 minutes time frame soon we can expect a directional breakout on the bearish side or on the bullish side based on which you can take a directional trades on the direction it gives a breakout let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for 5 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading within a bearish channel pattern 
That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button to show your support and share this video with your friends.